Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie, right back at ya. I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keep coming back for more. Y'all, I'm about to show y'all a video. This time, I'm not going to say my blood is boiling. Y'all going to say your blood is boiling. And then we could talk about it. Watch and get right back to me and blow up that comment section. Digital ID programs. And this time setting its sight on Kenya, where it will advise the government on that country's Maisha Naba digital ID initiative that is currently under development. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now, let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that, but have a listen to this. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing. Okay. What did y'all think? Now, see, our enemy is our own. How is it that this president, not because you're called a president, gives you the right to make the decision for all your people when it comes to something that they should have a choice in? You're saying that all newborns will have a chip right? Because they're not going to issue any more birth certificates. And oh, because Kenya have an issue where it comes to identification. Everywhere have issues when it comes to birth certificate. In Jamaica, back in the day, they were being born in the houses on the countryside. They didn't have no birth certificate. If someone didn't make it to the city to record that birth, they don't have a birth certificate. So now, you're saying that your solution to the problem that you think is there is to put chip in newborns. Mr. Kenya President, I want to ask you, sir. These children, because chip require maintenance, where's the chip going in their bodies? Where? Not only that, how would the information be downloaded? How would this effect, how would this cause any type of effect? Why is it being used in Africa? Why? Since when did we need to be tracked? Sir, it's not Kenya alone that's going to be affected. Once that chip is inside of them, how do you know how their brain will react to it, sir? Because that's, that's all of Africa that will be affected. Because once you have Africa, anything on the soil of Africa affects Africa. So these newborns coming up, oh, that generation of chippers, guys, Please let me know what y'all think. And not only that, who's going to be downloading the information? Does that mean you could read their thoughts and know what they're doing? Y'all, there's certain things I can't say. And there's certain things I won't say. But see, this is all greed. And at the end of the day, when you've passed on, Mr. President of Kenya, what will happen to the people you leave behind? You don't care about your people. How is it that he's able to do this all on his own? He keeps leaving and going away to all these meetings with the people out west and all these promises of money. But sir, what you're giving up is worth more than money. You just want to know that you have a couple of coins in your bank account so you can run 
Don't follow them and build bunkers. Because bunkers is not for you, sir. You need sun. We can't do without sun. Y'all, let me know what you guys think. Because maybe I'm overreacting a little bit. I think. Anyways, y'all, leave your comment below of what's going on, what you think's going on, and what you think's going to happen in the long run with these new chippers. That's going to be coming up. Because from Kenya to Ethiopia... Oh, no, they're going to keep going south and keep going north, keep going west. It's not going to stay in one place. How do you know what? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm going to leave y'all to just comment. And I'll sit back and I'll read them. Anyways, y'all, have a pleasant, blessed day. Oh, I shouldn't use the word bless. Have a pleasant day. Are we going to get back to that word blessing? Anyways, leave a comment. Enjoy your day. And just know that Tony appreciates you and she loves you. Have a wonderful day.